Good evening, Divine Masculines. Remember, that's an energy and not a gender. Um, I definitely got a vibe that Divine Masculines, you guys have been ascending and also um, awakening to a lot of the stuff that's been going on around you when it comes to friends, families, and associations. The song that came to mind was um, Stay Woke. Somebody has been creeping and somebody also may have been trying to steal from you while you were literally sleeping. So, that's definitely not for everybody, but check your bank accounts and, and transfers and cash apps and PayPal's and all that good stuff. All right, let me get an overall energy message. Universe. What's the overall energy message? Somebody is being brave and taking fast movement forward. It could be towards a Scorpio or a Leo or a Leo or a Scorpio is taking fast forward movement when it comes to some work. And I mean like literal work. Um, someone could also be working with a female investigator or attorney. To try to find out how they could take a leap of faith after telling the truth about some type of situation. Aries could be involved or a Leo Sagittarius. But somebody is working with an attorney. And uh, they want to tell the truth about some toxic things that have been going on regarding a Scorpio or regarding an ending with a Capricorn something like that and when it comes to the he she just just uh, you know put the shoe on where it fits in your situation if the message does resonate remember to only take what does resonate and leave what does not use this message for high vibrational purposes only please for like your ascension and growth and healing and confirmation. Somebody is going to get a confirmation about something in this message. The universe already told me that much. Just focus on being independent, especially if you're not in a marriage or a healthy relationship. If you're dealing with liars, somebody is currently in a relationship, uh, some type of partnership, if not both, with someone that is lying to them. Okay, somebody is working against you. Someone is working against you moving forward creatively with what you're passionate about to make money and also your health. So somebody is in a partnership or commitment of some sort with somebody that's literally bad for their health physically. Okay, I had the um, could be a marriage also because I have the seven of cups here. And then the Hierophant, so somebody is in an illusion or somebody no longer wants to be an illusion or in a third party situation. What's the overall energy for this message? What's the overall energy for this message, universe? Please and thank you. It's a lot of disappointments or, um, yeah, it's a lot of disappointments taking place right now. Um, some secrets have been revealed about delays. Also, a practitioner could also be experiencing delays because they were blocking. <laughs> they were blocking a union. And foundation when it came to someone's thinking process and how they were working I told you somebody is with somebody or was with somebody some type of partnership or relationship um, where they're being juggled someone's juggling with family members someone could be juggling with one of your family members but the bottom line is secrets have been revealed about delays that um were brought out not by the universe but 
by manipulation. It's the magician, okay? So, I guess that's the overall energy. You guys are aware, some of y'all anyway. Some of y'all are aware, and maybe that's why you're talking to an attorney. Maybe you got in a living situation, a housing situation, or a marriage, or something like that, and somebody wants out now. Somebody was dealing with a um, female, and it was not uh, everything that they thought it was going to be. Someone realized that they made sacrifices for a very low vibrational person that moves too quick and out of ego, and not really logically. Um, what signs is involved with tonight's message, universe? What signs are involved? Aries. What signs are involved for this message? So you could be the Aries. You could work with this Aries. You could be in a relationship with Aries. Or Aries could be in your birth chart. Fire. So yeah, it's some... It's some um, there's some action going on regarding this Aries. This Aries, if this is the same Aries that's always popping up in my collective, this Aries has bad karma with Saturn being in reverse. This person did not complete their Saturn return. And um, it's some type of money situation going on between an Aquarius and Scorpio. Hopefully gunshots have not been fired. Hopefully... Any, uh, what, what other signs? Pisces. Uh, we got Gemini. Sagittarius. Okay, so this message is for an Aries, a Pisces, Sagittarius, and Gemini. So you could be dealing with these people. This could be in your chart or this could be you. Again, this is just for you to take messages and use for your highest good, okay? Nothing low vibrational, all right? I feel like all of these signs have been in hangman and also had Wheel of Fortune moments because of some drama and fights around investments and seeds that have been planted. Father figures involved in this group have been reassessing the things that they've been investing in. And either there's going to be an ending or um, this is a Scorpio that is regretful. What's going on with this Aries? What is my Aries collective or those dealing with the Aries most need to know for this message universe? What about this Aries? Hold on. So to use the kipper. An Aries may have found out something about a relationship and they are not going to get sudden wealth. What about this Aries? What does the collective need to know about this Aries? Or what does the Aries need to know? Thank you. This Aries has spell work involved. Yeah, so this Aries is either a practitioner or this Aries has went to a practitioner or all of the above. And now it's a situation around housing and a child for some money. So an Aries may have found out or someone dealing with an Aries may have found out um, children or a child was involved and it was only for money and this is causing problems in a household. I'm also seeing here that a feminine could be losing housing because they had a child from spell work. Like they used magic basically to uh, trap somebody with a baby. Hmm, let's see.
what does Aries need to know about this child card? Yeah, it's definitely um, some introspection going on. Someone is looking at how they were using their power. Somebody now wants to be single from a relationship, a king of pentacles. What's the child? What does this Aries collective need to know about the child? What's this child card? Yeah, spell work it was. I know when spell work is involved because my cards be all whatever. Yeah. There shit. There we go right there. Yeah, somebody has somebody has woken up and found out a plan that somebody was working together in a situation. They go the Aries energy right here. So with this being in reverse, I feel like this was against the Aries. Somebody could have put something in the Aries drink because they wanted to hold on to get wish fulfillment and was working. Five and three is eight. Was working with people so that they wouldn't be in lack. But with the, like I said, this this main female and house being in reverse, I don't think it worked in that, that uh, main female's favor and it also could have been a third party involved. So when it comes to this child, and Aries is finding out that spell work was involved. So somebody would not be left out in the cold or lose finances and they had help putting something in somebody's drink with that nine of cups. Could have been a cancer. What's the main female? What does Aries need? Yeah, this, this main female has gotten some bad news either about something to do with the legal system with the justice card in reverse or this female could be a libra that's gotten bad news and now it has them weak because the angels have stepped in and they no longer have support from who they consider to be their family with this child this person is also under investigation having to do with money Um, it looks like eight of cups in reverse. So, so this main female did not walk away. They wanted to be very smart, analytical, and cold hearted to keep an emperor and got pregnant. So now that main female is stuck and stagnant because the wheel has turned and went in the opposite direction of where they thought it was gonna go. And the spell work is no longer working. It's backfiring with that wheel of fortune. So because of feminine energy used spell work to entrap a masculine for housing, that female is now losing housing, okay? Right. That's what Aries needed to know. What's going on with the Pisces? Let me grab this. Yeah, look, Pisces energy. So who, who, whoever this Pisces is has a lot of conflict and drama going on right now and towers. Nobody is showing this individual any type of love because they found out the truth about some work being done, possibly, you know, with um, a spiritualist leader. But the spiritualist leader with that Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and then we have the King of Pentacles in reverse, and guess what's after that, y'all? Capricorn energy, devil energy. So this Pisces is in a lot of drama and conflict and fights right now, because they lied and their lies were, look, false person right here. Their lies were exposed. A Pisces went to some type of spiritualist leader, could be a Capricorn, about some work to have a new beginning. But that the new beginning wasn't um, 
divinely guided like basically whatever this new beginning that the pisces was wanting to have was out of wanting to be in control of the situation and have somebody feeling like they didn't have any options when it came to moving forward so that this pisces did a lot of manipulation to stop somebody from moving forward using magic and it could have been um on a aries leo or sagittarius and this this pisces is not protected by this aries leo sagittarius i feel like the pisces went to the spiritualist uh leader and again told some lies they didn't tell the truth and now this pisces is looking at an ending of uh situations yeah this pisces is facing transformation or a rebirth of some sort Whoever the spiritualist leader is sees this Pisces as a thief. What does the collective need? This Pisces is a false person. This Pisces could be a mature woman getting a message of concern that they are not a divine feminine and they also are looking at charges of some sort, either spiritual jail or real jail. And also bad health and courthouse is sticking up right here too. So this Pisces is facing some, some shit. This Pisces is intuitive. This Pisces, um, this Pisces is very intuitive. But they took the wrong path when it came to somebody taking an offer of love and, and planting a seed somewhere. What's false person and message of concern? Mm. Yeah, this person is burning like a motherfucker. Now they want to walk away. They're walking away emotionally. What's false person, message of concern, and mature woman? False person, message of concern, and mature woman. Yeah, so this person now has to walk away from whatever manipulation or um, investments that they have made to have a new beginning. They're in a lot of regret because they're facing judgment in reverse and the devil is on that ass for every spell that was ever done. This person was doing spells for um, on divine feminines. Yeah, thank you, universe. Yep. This person was juggling like this. This intuitive Pisces was able to do um, sex magic, um, help low vibrational feminine energies, basically put masculines in spiritual prison, spiritual jail. So that they would be in relationships with them. With the lover's card right there. This Pisces knows very, very strong wizardry. This person watches people's relationships on social media. Stalks them. It also involves third parties. To, to be involved in watching them. So now whoever was working with this Pisces. Is also getting bad health. And looking at something in the legal system. Even if it doesn't have to do with spell work. People could be getting tickets. People could be getting collection notices. Repossessions of vehicles. Eviction notices. Random things is going to show up. And causing these people that was working with this Pisces. To end up in court for some reason. What is the Sagittarius or those dealing with the Sagittarius collective most need to know? What is the Sagittarius collective most need to know?
Some Sagittarius sis are communicating or connecting with actual divine feminines, and that's causing low vibrational feminines to be in despair. So we have the community card. Sagittarius Collective has found out who in the community has been trying to steal from them, him or her. Take it how I resonate. It's wealthy man on this card. Could have been a Scorpio, Pisces, and um, Gemini that were being false people. And now they're in spiritual court. The reasoning for them trying to steal from this Sagittarius was because they did not want to be in poverty. As long as this Sagittarius stayed like not in a low vibration, but not a mature man, they could still feed off of this person. You know how people say they do shit to feed their family? This Sagittarius collective has a community of energy vampires in their family and friends and network groups. And um, they're not official people. And they're in bad health as long as you guys is, are pulling back your energy and calling your energy back. Like I said, some of y'all are in communication with your divine feminine. Could be up in the 3D. Yeah. Some of these people have gotten messages like downloads that you are not the main male. You're not in spiritual jail. And it's nothing that they can do to stop you from coming into union with your divine feminine and receiving great fortune. And they've also gotten messages, the low vibrational feminine energies that don't want to work, that's never going to change their mindset and just on the path of having babies for money, only getting in relationships, to use niggas for what they worth, but never nothing long term. Never expecting love, but only money out of a relationship. Those people have gotten messages also from the universe that you're not getting no unexpected income. And they didn't think that. They didn't think that Divine Masculine Sagittarius Collective, that y'all will rise up and know that y'all are high honor. Some of you guys as mothers and aunties are concerned, but they're not in despair. They're concerned because they already went to spiritual court and God has let them know they are no longer able to do spiritual work. So you have some female uh, relatives that have gotten the message that they no longer have spiritual gifts. The, the low vibrational feminine energies, karmic feminines, they have gotten the message that they can no longer feed off you energetically or financially. And that's why they in despair. <clears throat> Just make sure when you're taking your new beginning, you, you give yourself time to detach from the world, so to speak. So you can face your own truth, get clarity of where you want to go with your life, whether it's with or without a union in the 3D with your divine feminine type of um, mindset. Work on your addictions, work on your codependency habits. Maybe you're addicted to hustling, maybe you're addicted to, I don't know. I, some of y'all really are just addicted to getting money. But just remember that there is more for you to do. It's more for you to know other than just how to get bread, okay? What's this that slid on the community card? Yeah, some of y'all got a goddamn empress. What slid on the community card? Hmm. Oh. Interesting. So in this community card, we got the Page of Wands, the Knights of Pentacles, the Chariots, and Queen of Wands. So Sagittarius Collective, the community has gotten messages that you've been making slow progress moving towards your counterpart. 
your empress and there is a cancer pisces scorpio that can no longer this whoever this cancer pisces scorpio person is whether it's multiple people or the same people um they they've been caught in some lies and deception with their wives i don't know what that has to do with you but I guess they're wanting to blame you like because you had your awakening they trying to blame you for problems in a relationship okay that makes no sense but i guess that's just something you need to know within the community and now they all having stress and anxiety and, and they in spiritual jail now an aquarius could be involved but you just keep uh, an Aquarius and a Cancer. Just keep focusing on your healing, though. It's an Aquarius and really, 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 really deep regret for missing an opportunity to end a karmic cycle. This could maybe Aquarius is in your chart or either you know this Aquarius because they deal with a Leo or are related to a Leo or they have some type of investments with a Leo and a Leo also has a wife or either this Leo is somebody's wife. Hmm. What's wealthy man? What's wealthy man? What does the Sagittarius Collective need to know? Oh, shit. It's some wealthy men out here, uh, Sagittarius Collective, that's not feeling so wealthy. They're uh, feeling really disconnected from God and also not on their divine purpose because you're no longer being held back because you're not stagnant and you also are noticing things that are more important than money it's some it's some wealthy men out here like i said really really stressed out oh they had did some sh oh the wealthy men had did some the wealthy men did work on your empress that's why they stressed out and burdened they tried to have your empress in a four of cups and ten of wands sagittarius collective and um, it didn't go as planned. So let's go ahead and move forward to this Gemini. Since King of Swords right here wanted to come out. Uh, this Gemini could be facing endings of relationships um, within the community because they're under judgment and in poverty. They may have did something in the legal system when it came to money with a false person. They may have known somebody was stealing somebody's money and didn't tell the community about it. It may not have been money. It could have been just unions and relationships and stuff like that too, but it was all for money. Yeah, this false person. What, what does the collective need to know about the Gemini? What is the collective needs? Yeah, so this, so this Gemini is currently under judgment. But, oh, wow. Y'all. Yeah. I'm going to clarify this courthouse in reverse and thief in reverse, but behind that, is the coffin card. So this Gemini is facing endings, endings of marriages, endings of finances. Um, some it's a, it's a younger masculine energy that was of high honor that's currently in bad health. And this Gemini is getting messages about a child that they were ignoring and messages about a relationship that they couldn't change. Okay. This Gemini's family is literally like upside down right now. Like internally. 
Some people have already started blocking them. Some people went in hangman and got and received awakenings and downloads and have let and blocked some of the Gemini family members and therefore cups energy. They're trying not to reminisce on whatever had happened in the past, but it's like Ace of Cups in reverse there. There's no love being shown to them by the universe, most importantly. And it's, it's fight and drama over um, a child that's either a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio child. Somebody's heartbroken in the decision because they made a toxic decision. They moved too fast into a relationship. And the relationship has been slowing them down. And now they have stress and anxiety. What's this courthouse in reverse? A plan for a new beginning, but stuck. Hmm. Three of Pentacles. Somebody's still trying to work with the devil, but the devil's saying, no, you already owe me. The devil say, you already owe me. The devil say, you already owe them. For that union, for that pregnancy, being able to get away with doing something with some money so you wasn't left out in the cold, but now you about to get some bad messages. You about to get some bad news. That's why you sick. The devil said, that's only the beginning. That's only the beginning. The devil said, if you think you depressed and lonely now, wait until tonight, girl. What's courthouse in reverse? Somebody is trying to travel away. Somebody's trying to escape the tower. Lord have mercy. But they know they can't lie no more. They know they can't use magic no more. So now they just in the house alone. Trying to juggle their thoughts. This person is trying to communicate with a Pisces. But the Pisces can't do spiritual work anymore. This Pisces, either this Gemini or somebody connected to this Gemini, that's a liar. And they related to them. They trying to send out telepathic messages and it's not the universe saying, no, nah. nope. Somebody got to eat their karma, and they don't want to. What's this? Whoever this is cannot escape from this tower. This Gemini can't escape from this tower. And whoever was doing manipulation to try to escape work being done on a soulmate contract using the devil. Somebody went to somebody's wife to do work on a spiritual contract. And now they're trying to walk away and accept, you know, oh, it didn't work. The universe say, no, nah, that work that you did, though, somebody has to pay for it. Somebody has to pay for it. The devil say you wanted that union. You got your union. Time to pay up. What's thief in reverse? Nine of cups. Let's see what else this is. What's this nine of cups? Because it's more to that. This Pisces. Okay, so. Mm, back to the Pisces. So, this Pisces 
could no longer steal something from this Gemini. I think it was energy. This Pisces still wanted to try to siphon this Gemini's energy, but they couldn't. So then they went to the whole glamour spells. So a Pisces tried to uh, basically put some shit in a Gemini's head about an empress to try to, oh, that, wow, wow. So a Pisces basically manipulated a Gemini through glamour magic. It's the temperance in reverse, star card in reverse, and then health in reverse. So it's the Pisces that, the Gemini is fucked up because of the Pisces, basically. Mm. Ain't that about something? healing message for the collective healing message for the collective somebody is working on their inner childhood wounds and where they may have been a victim and they're working on how to heal that victim consciousness someone's working with their inner child to heal so that they can be intuitive work on being a king of cups in the upright and having faith of having their own healthy stable family you guys have a leo and a scorpio i don't know if they're masculine or feminine you guys can know but somebody that you're related to it could be both but it's a leo and a scorpio that does not want y'all to let go of them but that's because they possess. They're not possessed by the devil. They just possess by low vibrational entities. The Leo, a Leo and a Scorpio is possessed by six different low vibrational entities. The Leo knew what was going on, but they procrastinated putting an end to, to their low vibrational behavior so the entities stayed. Yeah, look. Sell out. They're an energy vampire. It's a sex demon in them. And ain't no coming back from it. It's healing in reverse and beauty in reverse. This Leo can't come back from whatever they've done. They tried to block your creativity. And they're, they want to stop you from healing your inner child so that you don't unleash your creativity and don't go to your soulmate. It's the Leo that's really got some real childhood issues. They weren't even procrastinating. They just said, fuck it. They rejected healing. They rejected having a, a rebirth and they rejected transforming into a divine feminine or divine masculine, whichever preference or, you know, they definitely not balanced though. But what does my collective need to know when it comes to this healing? <laughs> letting go, letting go. So collective, when it comes to letting go, if you don't know already, this situation has served its purpose. Saying goodbye is never easy and can make you feel like you're a failure, but you must not allow yourself to be persuaded by other people or your own doubts to keep holding on. Focus on opening your heart to a new opportunity. Leave the baggage of past mistakes behind you. It is important that during the letting go process, you are gentle with yourself. Allow yourself to have alone time 
do whatever you can to heal and let go of the pain that is holding you back. When you feel stuck in a point of view, ask yourself, is this my belief or somebody else's? And how does it serve me? And there's also a quotation that says, you can say, divine healing intelligence, please assist me to let go of this situation. State what it is, habit, state what it is, person, say their name with ease and grace. Inspire me to move forward with freedom, lightness, and a feeling of completion. Bring into my reality new and empowering experiences, people, and opportunities. Thank you. And then repeat the word clear several times. I'll put that in the description box. Please click the little arrow by the title of the video so you can do that action to help you let go of these situations, habits, and people. Okay? Let's let me see something some of y'all family is in despair we knew that already though they're in bad health low vibrational feminines in your family are are burning um broke the lost jobs but they're trying to put on like they okay somebody about to get evicted if they haven't already or lose their housing or lose their house all because they wanted to be the the big man on campus or all because they wanted to be the community hoe and now the universe has put an ending to all of that the universe said they can no longer feed off of you energetically the universe has cut that and they can't feed off you anymore what does the collective need to know about letting go thank you look how that flipped out so listen the the spiritual court has judged that as long as you're doing your spiritual job collective you will continue to get healthy relationships partnerships romantic relationships and unexpected income but you have to let go Mm-hmm. One of y'all needs to let go of a um Taurus. It's a Taurus blocking you from uh healthy relationships and blocking your money. And it's from your it's a Taurus doing candle magic on your root chakra so that you don't feel safe and secure in your own body. You don't feel safe opening up to you know somebody else. You feel like you might be overspending, like overindulging your expenses on, on you know, other feminine energies or um, drinking and shit like that. The universe wants y'all to know that it's an ending to you feeling like the world is against you. It's not. It's an ending to you holding on to past wounds. It's an ending to you feeling depressed because you find it hard to let go of an ex or let go of communicating with certain people that you know ain't got shit going on but drama you need to close out those cycles and let those people go what's unexpected income what does my collective need to know about getting unexpected income um while they heal and let go you guys need to do self-care meditation and rest and also somebody needs to walk away or it's, it's a couple of y'all that need to walk away um, from women that you know are not mentally or emotionally stable. And if you have children with this person, you need to get you and your children in a safe place away from this mentally unstable feminine energy. I know y'all be watching or done heard and seen them crazy shows about snacks. You ain't even got to be necessarily cheating. Like, 
I just told you some of these people got six, seven, eight, nine, ten entities on them. And what is one of y'all's baby's mamas? Or a woman that you have children with, or just a low vibrational, trifling ass, manipulating ass Libra energy. It's a couple Libra energies that work together to manipulate your relationships. They manipulated your relationships watching on social media. Folks need to stop stalking. What's courtship? What does my collective need to know about courtship as they let go of people and habits and situations? What's courtship? In order to met whoever's trying to manifest money right now, you can't manifest it unless you've taken time to actually rest before you start being productive. If you burning yourself out being productive in the 3D, you're not gonna be able to manifest it down from the 5D. So some of y'all are wanting to manifest money and it's in the 5D waiting for you, but you you doing too much. You gotta take you got to take an intentional rest, intentional meditative state to manifest that unexpected income while you're letting go. Somebody really needs to let go of a, somebody they in a, or, or somebody is letting go. Somebody getting a divorce. What's courtship? What does my collective need to know about courtship? So listen, as you are letting go of people, habits, and situations that no longer serve you collective, when it comes to your relationships, guess what? The universe is going to give you somebody that you can build a stable foundation to grow a relationship and possible family with. And if you're one of the people that's like a workaholic because you want a secure future, Make time for the person that you see in this future with. If you do want that courtship with them. Let me grab some quick love cards. <laughs> Make sure you're loving yourself first. Always love yourself first, okay? What's a quick oh, love message? What's a quick love message for my divine masculines? Now, I feel like now that y'all are awakening, are awakening and aware, don't feel like, oh, this every bitch doing magic. Don't, don't, don't be like that, okay? It is okay for you to flirt with feminines without it being sexual okay learn how to extend light energy you look beautiful today you look nice today i got a friend i call handsome every day so i mean it's okay to flirt what else does my collective need to know my divine masculine Um, somebody is not making a romantic gesture in a situation where there is enough attraction and chemistry for a relationship. The universe says, stop wearing a false mask. It's express your love and unrequited love in reverse. So one of y'all got feelings for somebody and it's potential there, but you're wearing a false mask like it's not <laughs> or something i don't know the universe said get to know each other since you ain't taking nobody from your past back 
What else does my collective need to know regarding love and romance? What else does my collective need to know? Oh, yeah, with the retrogrades, make sure y'all don't take y'all exes back. Real talk. Some of y'all exes. Some of y'all, yeah, I felt it. <laughs> so, listen, some of y'all exes that you may have let go, but now they coming back to flirt with you, the universe said, get that motherfucker up out your energy. Nope. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The universe say you already freed yourself from that person's spell work. Just focus on healing your family issues, all right? Because it is not safe for you to love whoever this ex is that's flirting with you. Mm -mm. The universe said they didn't send that ex back to you. So if you got an ex like, oh, the universe brought us back together. It was meant to be. The universe said, no the fuck, no the fuck they didn't. So no, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that's it's unequal. That's that. I told you the universe said I didn't do that. The universe said I didn't do that. That person is real childish. The universe says that person is childish and lusty. And the universe does not work with that person. So if you're an earth angel and you're balanced and you're divinely guided and being patient for your blessings and just work ethic and what have you, do not work with whoever this person is. Could be a Leo, young Aries, or Sagittarius. But it's, it's definitely a feminine energy that's trying to come back and they are unbalanced as fuck and they got drama somebody is disappointed because they left you for somebody else and they got pregnant or made a baby with somebody else and they disappointed with that situation so they coming back to you like you just rebound like don't you miss me y'all miss me y'all miss this Ugh, i hear somebody ex saying that shit y'all miss this <laughs> motherfucker say hell nah bitch Hell no, not at all. You got bad karma, and I released your ass. I'm I'm done with them burdens. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> Good job, collective. Keep rejecting them. Keep rejecting them. Yeah, y'all know they unhealed and manipulative, and just want money. Want to just get pregnant to be on social media to say that's my baby daddy. Looking asses. All right, collective. I'm glad y'all done with the with the psycho, real psycho ass females that's under judgment and shit. Good job. Okay, so that's the message I have for y'all today, and I'll talk to y'all later.